Okay, so back in Nuke, after you exported your files, this is what they give you. They give you a Nuke file, and it makes the folders with your shit inside. So then you just simply drag it into Nuke. So there's our office model. Here's our ground plane. Here's our columns. I'm going to just move this over like this. I like to keep things together. Connect it. We look into a view. This is what you get. So now we just need to bring in our image. And we're going to need, we can't just attach it because if you just go to attach it to the building, you'll get that. So you need to project it. So we're going to need a shader and a project 3D node. And we're going to need a camera, which is the camera down here, the projector camera. So we're going to take that, I'm going to copy it, and just bring it up here. I'm just going to attach it into here. And I'm going to change this name to... Well, actually, I'm going to keep that name. I'm going to change this one to render camera. And now we could just simply attach the model to it and the columns and the ground plane. There's our projection. It's perfect. So let's take a look at it through in 3D space. We are in 3D space. Well, first let's just do a, a little move, a little animation. So we're going to take our render cam. Let's take off any animation that could be on it. And let's go to that render cam. Let's make sure it's ready for animation. And now we can set a key on frame one. And let's go to, say, frame 100 for now. And let's do a little dolly in. And maybe a little kind of like that. So that one, let's play it back. So as you can see what happens, that first thing we, we notice, I'm going to get unlock. Let's take a look here. The image is sort of like this, right? So we have no information behind here. So of course, when the camera starts to dolly or pan, we're going to expose. We're actually we're just looking at the image pasted onto the to the model. So we need to paint this out. So if you go into Photoshop, here's our image. So when the camera pans around, we get we still see this. So if you paint it out. Now, this is a real crappy paint out job. But basically, what you want to do is just paint behind these images, behind these columns. So, basically, you would get, after you paint it out, you get something like this. Now it gets projected, your new painted windows gets projected onto the model. But as you can see, your new painted projection gets painted onto the model and also gets painted onto your columns as well. So that's not good. That's the reason why I made uh, the columns separate. So that now we can just simply take uh, just columns, which is... Uh, this it's still the actual native size of the image that we're using um, and it's just this way the projection will lay right over in the ex same exact place so I would take the column actually I'll need a new projection node 
just paste that over in here. And we're going to use the column, plug it into the projection. We can still use the same camera and take the columns and plug it in. So now we're putting the columns back on top. Actually, I'm going to need a pre mold, a pre multiplication from here. And you know what? Let's put a little scanline render and let's put a little amino acid on low. And now we're getting, you know, a nice parallax seen behind the columns. Oh, we have a lot of other things to deal with. We have stretching. We have this truck. Let's deal with this truck for now. So the truck is just simply I took the truck. Let's take a look at the truck. Pre multiply that. There we go. Okay. So there's my truck. And we're going to project the truck onto a card. Okay. So if we take a card and we just a regular card and place it where the car should be and then we project we'll need another projection node and we can share that camera and we need the truck image so now so in the next lesson I'm going to show you how to remove these images on the windows and put a real life, real live reflection along with a spherical environment behind the building, maybe some, some flares, and a whole bunch of other crap. Dealing with this stuff on the bottom, 